Committee to Protect Journalists. Azerbaijani authorities should release Aziz Orodov. Azerbaijani authorities should release Aziz Orodov, director of the popular television channel Canal 13, from detention on charges of illegal construction and cease their illegal harassment of independent media, the Committee to Protect Journalists headquartered in New York said. It is noted that the Sabail District Court in Azerbaijan's capital, Baku, ordered that Orodov be held in pre-trial detention for three months. Orijov's lawyer, Bahruz Bayramov, told the Committee to Protect Journalists that Orijov had been building a home for himself on a plot of land that he had purchased. While the land was not officially registered to Orijov, Bayramov said that this was also the case for thousands of other homes in Baku and that he was not aware of anyone else being arrested for the offence. Instead, the charges were in retaliation for Orijov's journalism, according to the lawyer. The independent online broadcaster, Canal 13, regularly covers sensitive topics such as demonstrations and human rights violations and gives space to opposition views. Alasgar Mamadli, founder of Media Rights Group, which advocates for press freedom in Azerbaijan, told the Committee to Protect Journalists. Hot on the heels of last week's arrest of three journalists and media workers at the anti-corruption outlet Abzaz Media, Azerbaijani authorities appear to be targeting yet another critical online news platform with the arrest of Aziz Orodov, said Gulnaza Said, Committee to Protect Journalists Europe and Central Asia Programme Coordinator in New York. Azerbaijani authorities should release Orijov, drop the charges against him and end their crackdown on the independent press. Orijov's wife, Lamia Orijova, told the Committee to Protect Journalists that her husband was arrested like a terrorist by eight police officers, seven of whom were wearing masks. Police confiscated documents and USB sticks from Panel 13's office and also took two laptops, a cell phone, documents and bank cards from their home, she said. Bayramov told CPJ that there was no legal basis under the illegal construction charges for conducting the searches and ordering Orijov's pre-trial detention. The Committee to Protect Journalists emailed the Baku Police Department and the Ministry of Internal Affairs for comment but did not immediately receive any replies.